This unfortunate live stream unfolded in March 2021 in a small dimly lit room in China where a young female streamer known for engaging and interactive broadcasts on Douyin decided to host a live event that would tragically become her last. The stream in question opens up with blasting music in the background. The room was decorated with bright colorful backdrop to attract and hold the attention of her growing viewers with the allure of donations driving her content. Behind her sat what she described as a wheel of mayhem, a roulette game that promised both entertainment and risk. The premise was simple but dangerous. Viewers could donate money to spin the wheel and wherever it landed on, the streamer was obliged to consume. The wheel was divided into various segments. Each segment labored with a disgusting food or drink. For example, they had garlic, ginger, mustard, raw eggs and most dangerously, white wine. Basically, the higher you paid wherever it landed on, she would have to eat more and more of that. Of course, this brings the potential for high earnings, but of course, the potential for risk. The bright colors on the wheels, along with the playful atmosphere, maxed the inherent dangers of the challenge, attracting all ages of viewers. That night, the excitement of the audience was palpable, as each spin brought a new wave of anticipation and thrill. However, as the stream progressed, the stakes grew higher and higher. Things quickly got out of hand, as the donations reached a significant amount, $30,000, an eye-watering amount that would come at an unbearable cost. The streamer soon found herself drinking not just a glass of wine, not two, but instead a whole bowl filled with two liters of wine. She then proceeded to break an egg into the bowl of wine. Then she added a bunch of wasabi, and then she added what looks like a whole uncut sausage. The viewers, intoxicated by the whole thrill of the game, continued to encourage her to drink, oblivious to the deadly consequences that were soon to follow. Because what the audience didn't know, and perhaps the streamer underestimated herself, was that earlier in the day, the streamer had taken an antibiotic prescribed for a minor infection known as cephalus porin. This type of antibiotic is known to have severe interactions with alcohol, leading to serious and potentially fatal side effects. On screen, as the alcohol crossed through her system, the combination with the medicine set off a deadly chain reaction. The signs of distress soon became apparent on the live stream, but by then, it was too late. Soon after chugging the bowl of wine, she seems to convulse and turn white. It was clear that something was deadly wrong. What started as a light-hearted stream was now taking a deadly turn. Just moments after drinking the bowl, she stood up, convulsing and fell off camera and rushed off of the live stream. The cheerful room was now eerily silent. Panic began to set in as viewers started trying to contact the emergency services sharing the streams across social media trying to get help. The streamer was rushed to the hospital, but by the time she arrived, she was pronounced dead. Her cause of death was alcohol poisoning caused by a reaction of the antibiotic. This was posted all over social media and raised questions about the ethics of viewer-driven content, the pressures that streamers face to entertain at all costs, and how there should be guidelines to protect streamers from certain situations, even if the situation is caused by themselves. Platform Douyin is China's version of TikTok faced heavy scrutiny for allowing such content to be posted on their platform, to be broadcast without intervention on their platform. The law of quick money and the desire to please an audience led a woman to her untimely death, all in the name of entertainment. 